Well, I have a new favorite farm. Yeah, so I have made a guardian farm here, but it's not just a guardian farm. But as you saw up top, briefly anyways, it's also a skulk farm. It's very, very cool and entirely my design, though it is uh, inspired by Zuma's uh, experiments with like a guardian based skulk farm in Hermitcraft. Now, I drained the ocean monument and did some work on the farm itself on stream over on Twitch. Not something I plan on doing super frequently, but fun to do nether nevertheless. But some fun things happened. I died for the first time in a really, really long time. Wah! No, 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 Okay. <laughs> All right, we're turning off the guardian sounds now. Um, if we run back here, we can see the the system and turn it on and kind of watch how it works. We have a stone generator, which does uh, two blocks of stone at a time, hooked up underneath a drop chute from the guardians that portal, portal up from down below. Um, we've got catalysts at the back of these, though these could potentially get a better placement. We have a shifting floor collection system that's also hooked up to the same circuit as our stone generator. And with it turned on, we can see how we run this system. I have it set up to be able to use a minecart for this, but that seems to be about when my machine starts calling it quits. So, yeah. But as you can see, we have the collecting floor system that uses blocks of different heights to basically catch and push along the items into, and here they're going into a water stream. Um, I had to do that because I couldn't do a direct water collection system, otherwise the guardians would just be able to fall into that and survive and not die. Uh, doing some research for this, it looks like a lot of skulk farms are end-based, and so water works perfectly fine as a collection system. But as you can see, we get a lot of items very fast. Anyways, this is perfect for me because I need both uh, a lot of skulk and a lot of prismarine for my build. My item filters keep breaking, I think, because I just have so many items coming through. Um, but I'm already like completely full on prismarine shards. I've given stuff away from this farm already. Like this is this is ridiculous. If we take a peek down below, you can see that I have four tanks set up here um, to spawn the guardians. They are over soul soil, so we've got bubble columns going in here, and. There's a ton of guardians spawning constantly. Um, they get pushed into nether portals and there is an elevator system in the nether above the nether roof connected up also to the portal up there. It has a 15 second timer cycle of letting the guardians back through or not um, using the design from ENXO Forest Guardian Farm. This works great except when people are on in the nether on this multiplayer server. But, you know, there's enough time when I'm on here by myself, so it doesn't bother me. There's a couple of other cool features about this, this uh, area down here. One is our water walls, and I drained this... Um, I drained this ocean monument with flying machines. I would link the video, but it seems to be taken down off of YouTube, like, in the last couple of days. Uh, so, not sure what's up with that. But I followed a tutorial on YouTube. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in for the rest of the floor, but I do like this little like aisle layout that we have down here. The other thing is that we actually have a slime chunk. I did have four little slimes around here, and I name tagged them and everything, but they seem to have also disappeared probably, probably into the water wall. No, I think they were gone before that. I don't know what happened to them. They were name tagged, so... Hmm. But yeah, this is a really cool like build and really cool farm and I love that I did the entire thing myself. Like, 
Other than draining the ocean monument, no tutorials, no, like, help on wiring systems or anything. The whole thing is mine, and I love it. This shulker farm was active the entire time that I was building, and now we have more shulker shells than I will ever, ever need. But that's not the only giant farm project we have been working on over here. Um, as you can see, we don't really have much more progress made on our base, except that I did uh, do a little bit of gradient on the walls, just on the fronts of the walls. Um, but I've got a bunch of materials. We have, for example, six and a half shulker boxes of iron trap doors, a lot of glass, so many observers, so much, uh, almost three boxes of glazed terracotta. Oh yeah, here's a full box of observers. Oh, and that brings in a lag spike every time I do it. But we are going to put in an ice farm. Now, do I need to make it this big? No, these are very modular like pieces. But like, if I'm gonna do it, why not go all out? I'm a little nervous because this is going to be my first time building something directly from Lightmatica without any sort of like video tutorial or anything else. Okay, I have been over here working on this ice farm and this is a great spot. It's actually just on the other side of the mountains from where we are, but I don't think I'm going to finish it this episode. I am very, very tired. We can fly right through this little cave to get over to our building area, which I think is fantastic. We're not even hanging around here today. We'll get back to building this soon. Uh, you know, once I get the ice farm going. <laughs> but I just want to go do some chill things. Oh, it's been a while since I wore diamond armor. I personally prefer the darker look of, um, of netherite. But hey, it's fun to wear some blingy diamond every once in a while. Okay, I have a number of different things that I would like to do, but I think the first one is we need to go to our, our Wither Skelly farm and uh, heal up my wings there. But there's an achievement for looking at a ghast through a spyglass. And we get a lot of ghasts around our Wither Skelly farm. Just watch, today is gonna be the day that we don't get a ghast spawning on us in here. Doop, doop, doop. Yep, not a ghast in sight. We could fly around through here. I think I would prefer flying through a soul sand valley to kinda Look for one of these dudes. There's so many bones. Oh, this is really cool. Now I hear a ghast. All right, we're gonna put our spyglass in our offhand. That may be a bad idea, but where's this ghast? And there's our nether fortress. I'm already a little tiny bit getting lost. I'm very good at that anyways. You know, the only time you don't get a ghast in the nether is when you want one. Oh, you can hear the ones dying up above. Ooh, this is a basalt delta over here. All right, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Got it! Bam! Is it a balloon? No, it's just a very spicy cloud. Well, that was fun, and we also discovered that there's a basalt delta kind of north of us. Let's 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 look at that over the nether roof because it might be useful sooner rather than later to move my frog light farm. It was kind of over this direction, I think. Yeah, here it is. Okay, that's super close. You can, okay, you can just barely see the pillager tower. Yeah, okay. 
That's incredibly useful to know. See, we're still we're still accomplishing things. I have a problem where I cannot, I cannot just not be productive. It's it's a problem. But sometimes you got to just loosen up and learn to have a little bit of fun, right? I want to come over here and try doing a little bit of underwater caving. That's my favorite thing now. But right on over in here, we have. A little, a little underwater cave. And I'm really hoping, yeah, okay. So we just kind of poke around and look for magma blocks and stuff. So we can get air. Um. <clears throat> and we get glow squid around in here, but I don't think it's as deep and crevicey as I thought it was gonna end up being. Oh, we've got more area in here though. Oh, some glow squid. I do need glow ink always. Oh, you can hear mobs though that aren't in underwater caves. Okay, this is a crevice without any way to the top and without magma cubes. So, ooh, this is deep slate copper ore though. I don't have like any of this stuff. And I always like having a few things for getting mini blocks with. And this is one that I never can get because I don't have any. All right. Uh, we need either a magma block. Aha. Here we go. Here we go. Ha. Okay. In some ways, uh, underwater caving seems a little easier to me. And in other ways, I'm just as terrified of it as normal caving. All right, let's go. <gasps> Here's an amethyst. Ooh, 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 guys, 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 guys. Oh, I want to do an underwater amethyst setup now because, oh, that's so cool. I have wanted to do that for a while. Oh, here's some stone diamond. This is such a rare block. Oh, that's super cool. And we'll grab the other diamonds too, because like, obviously, <gasps> there's two. Okay, not gonna lie, underwater caving is pretty fun. But yeah, if we like waterlog the entire amethyst and then put like a conduit around, oh, that would be such a fun, fun setup for an amethyst farm. Now, can we find our way out of here? Aha, look at that. Oh, we've got such a cool area down there. I love it. And I'm really glad there wasn't a slime waiting for me right here. And we got some treasures. These, these are great blocks and I'm either going to like keep them around just for, you know, the block itself or, or trade them for the mini blocks. And that is all I'm ever going to use those for. You know what we should do? We should look at our achievements because I want to know. Oh dear. How? Okay. We drag. Ooh, we haven't, we haven't done, we haven't done Strider. Read the powered power signal of a chiseled bookshelf using a comparator. The power of books. I love it. Oh, we've got... Hey, I technically already killed the Ender Dragon. I just didn't land the final shot, so I didn't get the achievement. <laughs> Pearl ended up getting that one. Oh, we've got so many things we could do. I want to get this one. I've been trying to get this one for a while. What else can we do with these? Ooh, look at the Ender Dragon through Spyglass. I'm not sure if we want the Ender Dragon to be respawned. Ah, uh, yes. That portal is so fantastic. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just learned this. I just learned that you can put, like, these, uh, roots and whatever they are. The nether grassy things. I just learned you can put those in pots. And that makes me way more excited than it probably should, but, like, I am very excited about that. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Pearl, I am gonna go to my storage system and grab things for all the, for all the, uh, trim. It's so cool! It's ridiculous how cool this thing is. Okay, this is looking awesome. Just like, look at it. 
you walk down the aisle and it's so pretty and I love that we ended up putting the colored glass on the outside. I, I think that was a great call. So I've got the rest of the plan figured out for like the rest of our displays. Um, we're going to do a set on the other side and that's also gonna be the exact same like rainbow dye setup over there and then there will be some on the inside here because we have an odd number of of uh, trims and so we're gonna put some of the more rare ones in here along with the netherite upgrade. Okay, we did some fast as possible gold mining, or not, not gold mining, netherite mining because we really need to use some netherite. One armor needs to be trimmed in netherite. That's just, that's important. So we're gonna do it. <laughs> and some quick netherite mining got us 15 ancient degree and I had eight in back stock. So we're all good there. I say back stock, that's not quite the term. I have eight hoarded for myself. <sighs> all right, and while that goes, we are gonna do the last four here. And there's a couple of a couple of special things that we're gonna do. One, let's see, where did I where did I put the box? Where did I put the box? Oh. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna do diamond armor for our like more rare, harder to get trims. This is perfect so that then we can use some of the lighter colored uh, trim materials, the quartz and the iron on the diamond, which actually, like, I was not sure how that was gonna look, but it still looks pretty good. So now, let's see, what are the three materials that we need? We need one, two, three, four of that. And I can put that there. And then we need one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four, and then we'll need the netherite when that is finished as well. So, which should be which color? I think silenced would be actually overwhelming in a darker color. So we'll do that as one of the lighter ones, either the quartz or the... I feel like rib could look cool. I don't, with like the copper. And we might want to do snout as the netherite because that feels appropriate. And let's do the two nether ones like on the outside, I think. And then we'll put the two, uh, we'll put the two deep dark ones on the inside. Nice. Interesting, that looks a lot more brown than it does on the netherite. So over on this side of the room, we'll get snout Awesome, and the name tag. Oh, that looks really good actually with the diamond. Okay, and before we go any farther, apply these sniff. Okay, so this is gonna finish out the entire like collection for that for that achievement. So. And we'll start with one. Aha! Ah, it's one of the big, big loud ones. <laughs> they scare me every single time. What was the name of that one? Smithing with Style. Cute. Nice. This looks really cool. It'll look even cooler when there's a not necessarily a pillar standing in the center of the room. It's actually got a lot of pretty elements to it. I like this one as a full set. Like, I'm not wearing it right now, but my like normal everyday netherite armor is pretty mismatched. Um, but I actually really like the full set of Ward. And then we make the stand invisible. <laughs> we try to make the stand invisible. There we go. Ooh, I think I think I like that better. I like that better than the boots. 
All right. Well, then. That does it. Ah, I love it. I'm glad we did this today. I'm glad I just decided to do some fun things instead of hanging out and and just killing myself slowly over over the ice farm. Um, and this was such a fun project. I got I worked on the original. Uh, armor trim like the temporary library so getting to do this and make the permanent one is very very happy i'm just obsessed with how the diamond looks on the iron armor like that's so pretty oh that's a creeper um yeah no we definitely don't want to blow up this beautiful gorgeous build Oh dear. <laughs> it's fine, no one saw that. Anyways, next episode will also be a fun one because it's going to be my 25th episode here on the Vervain's Arcadia server. And so we're going to go do some fun things in celebration of that. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think about the Skulk and Guardian farm down in the comments. And I hope I'll see you around for the next one. Bye!